this because we don't we don't yeah. blush up here, right? Yeah. Like when you blush, that's why they call it blush. I've never seen anybody blush. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, I've time. never once seen anybody I've, blush, and I've, I've never been able blush. to see blush. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another video. I'm really excited to do this video. This is my makeup artist, Mo. We've been working together since I moved to LA four years ago, so we've known each other for a very long time. She actually also moved to LA from Toronto the same month that I did, so... Uh, we became fast friends, and she is more than my makeup artist now. We're like family. Um, but Mo is going to be going through makeup with me because, look, I got into makeup when I was like 12 years old, and my mom took me to a MAC makeup counter because she knew she wasn't going to be able to figure out how to teach me, and she had them teach me, and then I just played with makeup, and I experimented, and I watched so many YouTube videos for years, and I would practice, and I would buy new things, and I would watch reviews, and... That's kind of how I've developed my own skill. It's, I haven't really had a lot of help, but I thought at this point, you know, I haven't had anybody professional like help teach me or show me or critique my own techniques ever really, or in like a very long time. And there's some skills that I would like to learn that I just have no idea where to begin teaching myself. Specifically, the like outer V. I always just do my eyeshadow like lid color, crease color. I would like to do the three color like lid, crease, corner situation. Corner so, correctional. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> precisely. Yeah. Now, you're like an OG professional makeup artist. You've had a very long, successful career yes. in this industry. Yes. Um, can you say some of the things that you like did through your career? Uh, well, I, I worked at uh, CTV in Canada for 30 years in the makeup room there. So it was every day, all day, we did Discovery, TSN. Um, I mean, if you're not from Canada, you may not know, but it was it was a very Canada's busiest makeup room. So it was next, 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 next. Uh, then it would get sent out to commercials. I worked on a lot of different TV shows, like tons uh, of all different genres. Um, and then moving to LA, I got more into doing my lovely girl hair, Molly, my favorite. A lot of films, short films, kind of a little horror, which is kind of fun. Uh, Can I so name drop some people you've worked with? Yeah, a lot of celebrities. She's worked with some big folks, so I'm very excited for her to critique my techniques. Um, as somebody who's just been in the industry for so long, you've seen so many waves of makeup trends, and I'm excited. So let's just get into it. Okay, I just want to stop in here and thank the first sponsor of 2022 and a longtime sponsor of this channel and a platform that I've been using for even longer, which is Squarespace. Both the makeup artist in this video, Mo, and myself uh, run our own small businesses, and Squarespace is a great platform for any of you out there that also do that. Squarespace empowers you to independently build a beautiful online website and offer tons of helpful templates that you can pick from. Uh, and then once you pick your template, you can customize it, move it all around. And honestly, I don't think anybody would ever know when you look at these websites that they're template websites. They're so beautiful and they're so easy to customize. They also give you helpful tools like analytics and marketing. And if you use code Molly Burke, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. You can check out my website, mollyburkeofficial.com, for some web inspo if you need it, and you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then once again, use squarespace.com slash mollyburke for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Obviously, we start with the base. Now, I always prime my face with like a makeup primer. Is that necessary, or can I just do my normal moisturizer? and then jump into foundation. You know, it, it really is a preferential thing. There are some great primers and they allow you to use, uh, I think, less foundation only because it's it doesn't grab the skin as much as that makes sense, mm -hmm. but it does have a great staying power. Uh, it really comes down to having a good primer for your skin. Uh, a lot of these things are really a preferential kind of thing in respects to what works for one person, what brand works for one person may not necessarily work for another person. It's just like any kind of skincare. It really, there is not one all that is like that, that best, the best for everybody. Maybe best for you or somebody else, but not everybody. I kind of go in and out of it. And another thing, it comes down to time. 
you know, it, it, if, you, if it's, but if it's part of your routine, absolutely do it because it does give a nice silkiness. I do a 15 skin. minute face. That's all. Like I like in out, bang yeah. my whole face out. Yep. I like know my routine. I just do yep. it the same every day. But pick, I pick like the blush that fits the outfit I'm wearing that day. And I pick the eyeshadow that fits the outfit I'm wearing that day. So like I change the colors I use. Or if I want like a more glowy skin, I pick a more glowy foundation. If I want a more matte look, cause it's really sweaty that day, I put a matte foundation, but like the technique I use and the style of makeup I do is the same consistently every day so I feel like it's like down to 15 minutes at this point. So we've got the foundations. So some of this makeup is my makeup and some of it's Mo's makeup from the kit she has for me uh, that she pulls every time she does my makeup. So this is not my foundation. This is your foundation that you often use on me. So when I use a more matte foundation like my Too Faced Born this way, I use a beauty blender to add some more hydration okay. to it. When I use a more like BB cream, CC cream, or even just like uh, like Tarte Rainforest C, more hydrated liquidy, I just use my fingers. I just oh, here, it's your face, so you, you absolutely can. Just make sure you wash your hands. Yes, yeah, so always have clean hands. Number one rule: there's no rules. So if something says, "Oh, that's a blush brush," and, and you find it works for you know, uh, like a, a, as a powder brush or a, there's nothing that is staying true. You, you get creative. So this is meant for highlighting and contouring, but it's, it's an awesome makeup because it gives a nice blend of it. It it's just, you can get in areas. It's so it's softer on your face. Okay. So there's two here. We have a light and a medium it comes down to what time of year is it? Because our skin changes. I have fake tan on right now, so my mm -hmm. face absolutely doesn't match my body, which is why I need to use yours because mm -hmm. this makes That's my lighter. face look white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always say it's good to have, like for the average person, it's good to have two foundations. One, the lightest your skin gets, and one, the darkest your skin gets. And then you mix them. This is a great tip and I'll save you a lot of money. And it's just a way to really minimize your your kit and to uh, save a lot of money. Okay, so, so I need yeah. to be mixing these right now. Okay, so I did do a little hit. That's a little hit of the light. And this is a CC cream, which is great because it gives a, a beautiful coverage, but it's not heavy. If you can get an SPF in your foundation, <clears throat> it, it's, uh, it's a major bonus. And start, so what you do is start forehead. Oh, okay. Yeah, go down. Don't don't even put it that low. Keep it like the actual product, just to the bottom of your cheeks, and then blend it down. Cause you'll have enough. Just blend it down. It's so funny. This is like eyelid. so much less product than I would use. Yeah. Remember to get into the little creases in your nose. Hard for me to show you with the mask on, but we must stay safe. Mo is also a COVID officer on sets. Take it very seriously. So she knows all of the LA protocol for COVID oh, yeah. on sets. Very, very serious. So we're following all of the yep. LA rules right now. Okay, so now what you can do, let me see. Okay, so what you can do is you can take a little bit of the light now. Okay. Do more around your eyes. You can do in this area here, even your lids. And the part, here's the, here's the part that really, when you're highlighting, like you're um, doing um, concealer or whatever, we're not in concealer yet, but even still doing this. Go light, sorry, Mom, let me just right in this part here. Everybody, it is the darkest part on your skin, on your face. And so it's a hollow. Everybody has it. And it gets dark and it makes all the difference in the world when that gets lightened up. It just totally transforms, <laughs> you know? It's the littlest thing. Lottling. Beautiful. Okay, so Mo always uses like foundation over the eyelids instead of using eyelid primer. Just a money saving hack that she always does that I will now start doing so I'm not wasting money on eyeshadow primer. You don't need to put 12 layers on your face to do it appropriately, you know? There's a lot of less is more. Concealer, okay, I just put it like under my eyes. That's all I do. If I have any blemishes, I'll do it on a blemish. But usually what I do is I take the wand and I swoop and then I use either a concealer brush or a beauty blender and I just blend it out. That's all I do. Can I give you a tip on that? Mm -hmm. Do you do that after, at this point? Yeah. You can, 
especially in that area I was telling you right in, in there. Here. Yeah. Don't do too much underneath. Like you can do a very, 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 very light powdering underneath. Okay. Reason I say that is because if you get fallout when you're putting your eyeshadow, shadow it's, and it's... fallout is when sometimes you get the trickle, like it's just, it gets in there. And then when you try to clean it off, it's stuck. It's a mess. You look like you have a black eye. So if you give it less to, to fall, you know, fall into, sometimes what I'll do, they call it baking is I will take a white, a really fine white. Yes. Uh, I will do that sometimes. Yes. Loose powder, you plop it on and, that and way, wipe it. Yeah. And then it just, you just swipe it off with a nice little soft brush gone. Then you put your, your foundation on, but you don't want to give it something to grab to. Okay. So, so I'm going to not put concealer on then. Yeah. I would leave that till later. Cause then you would, you can test it. So I don't set my face right ones. now either. What I would do is you put the powder, don't put the powder under here, put the powder on, you can do it all over your face, you can do it in your eyelids, very little to none underneath. Yeah, because you use those, because you don't want to go heavy, heavy. You could, you Well, could I feel like I use like way more foundation, so my face is often way stickier. Yeah. So then I need to set it, but because I used so little with the amount you put out for me, I don't really need to like. And you still, you still only, like there's still three quarters of it left. So I just really like dust it real yep. quickly. Okay, so usually what I would do after setting my face is I would do my bronzer, then my blush, then my highlight, and then do my eyes. That's like what I do. Yep, yep, yep. I always, like I, I do, I start with my blush. Everybody has their, their routines, you know. Oh my God. Whoops, whoops. This, I always find this so hard to open. I love Too Faced, but they need to make this easier to open. It is like not easy to open in my opinion. Okay, this is the Chocolate Soleil. This is like, the bronzer I often nice. use. Well, I just, so I just swirl it in and then I just do the like. Yep. yep. So. Okay, quite, okay, one thing I just wanna say, mm -hmm. don't go, you're going in too far. Okay. Go to the middle of your eye. There, okay. little mark, little mark, like just right here. Okay. It just, you don't want it in here. So here? That's more of a highlight. There you go. So just think the middle of your eye. Okay. Okay. And, and then I usually go like down my neck just to like. Yep. You okay. can do your jawline. Again, the whole idea is to blend. Let's well, I'll show you where yeah. I highlight in a minute so we can critique yeah. that. So that's, now that's that the idea. So you could even for that mall, you could use a thinner brush, a smaller brush. Like you've got mm -hmm. this brush, that would be great. Perfect for that. Okay, that's usually what I do for powder under my eyes. Yeah. Okay. Again, there's no rules, but just, just for that because then you're getting it a little more precise where you want it. Okay, so maybe I could use like this brush to do the kind of fluffier yep. perimeter to Absolutely. blend it, Absolutely. but then use this for that like tighter you got spot. It. Okay. You got it. Blush, I always pick the blush that matches one of the colors I'm wearing or yep. at least complements. So today I pulled sure. my coral blush because this outfit has a lot of coral in it. Yep. So I just pulled this Laura Mercier one that I have. I always take this brush and I like swirl it the same amount of times. Mm -hmm. Kind of like five or okay. six yeah. swirls. Yeah, I was just gonna say, give it a tap before you yeah. put on. Okay, so then what I do is like, I do the awkward smile. Don't even need to do it. Okay. Cause no, you, where's your, where's your cheekbone? What the, start I don't, I don't start know, from. I don't know how to do it without smiling. Okay, okay. So you find your, and go out. Don't go in cause otherwise you look, yeah. And you go to the middle of your eye. Oh, you're going too high. Mm -hmm. Okay, you try mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. here. Here, here. Really? Yeah. So what you would do if you do that, because now you've got blush up here. Yeah. And it's not, it's not accenting. You want to accentuate your cheekbones. That's what blush is. Right. Right. So hey, if you make mistakes, no big whoop. Just take a little bit of your powder, blend her down. And if you get a little too further over this way, just give it a little thing like this. Let me see the other side. See, see the difference? Do you see the difference? Yeah, oh yes, I do. Cool. This, because we don't we don't yeah. blush up here, right? Yeah. Like when you blush, that's why they call it blush. I've never seen anybody blush. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, well, I've time. never once seen anybody I've, blush and I've, I've never been able blush. to see no. blush. <laughs> we don't blush under our eyes. Just, okay, just so take I my should, word for it. <laughs> it. So like, okay, so my bronzer is going like just to there. So you, yeah, same with your blush. And then my blush is going like kind of right on top of that. Yeah, so you you keep it. You don't want to go up high because okay. this is, 
more we want to highlight the top two 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 cheekbones right here. Okay, well let me do my highlight. Do Save it till after you've done the shadow. Yep, because oh. I, I the sh after you've done the shadow, and then after we've done your proper concealer. Okay, that would be more towards the end. Okay, so I will put that down. Yep. And we'll go right on to shadow. Let's so do I don't fill my brows in because I've had them microbladed and I'm blonde right now. So I don't feel the need to fill my brows in. So I don't. You don't want your brows to overwhelm. The, the brows are really important. They are the frame of your eye. So what I do when I do it. Now everybody, regardless of how thick your brows are. You have sparse parts. Everybody, yeah. ha everybody has the odd little bald spot. And I actually have a scar through my eyebrow. Yep. And so that's where you can take just a small little, little, little brush like this. And even you do it in a matte, uh, you, you, there's all kinds of great brow palettes. Lighter, the better. And you just give it a little flick. All right, mom, this one pay attention to because I'll probably have you do this. Okay, okay. you got that little spot. And I'm really just using the lightest of taupe. It doesn't even really match your, but it takes that just takes that spot away. Okay, the lighting changed for the better, I hope. Um, okay, so that's great for the brows. For the shadow, this is like one of my favorite shadows because it's so easy. It's the Kaja Bento Box. I've talked about this so many times on my channel. I really love these because it's three colors. They all go together. It's like great for travel. It's great for blind people or new beginners with makeup because it's just so simple. But I only use for the most part, the top two colors because I'm scared of the dark brown because I don't know how to do that outer V. And I, that's like really what I wanna figure out because I just do this like shimmer all over the lid, deeper matte in the crease, like the outer kind of to the middle of my eye and window shield wiper it and that's it. And I wanna do like a more intricate eye look and I know I'm capable, I just need somebody to teach me and help me. Okay. So you always start with the light, you do yes. your overall. So that's okay. So that's what I would usually do is take the lighter shimmery color and I would do the whole lid. This the lid. So that's how I would. You can do that. You want to do get right up in this spot here. Okay. With the same shade. Yep. Okay. And you know what? You don't even need to go in here if you did your lid, and then that top of your brow. The natural light would. The natural light shadow would. Yep. And you want to make sure you get a nice. Like that. Yep. Okay. Yep. The I'll, odd I'll, the I'll, odd time I do that part, but I often just yeah. leave it. If if I'm you, being even quick. just a little bit because what it does, the whole idea you want to lift your eyes up makes such a difference. This is um, it's a great color, but I can show you something that will give you even more of a little lift, and you can put this over it. Okay. You if you have um, a light blush color like a peachy color. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So maybe could I just grab my blush? Yep. Okay, totally. so I'm going to take my blush. Okay. Squirrel. Squirrel a little bit, yeah. Give it a little tap, yeah. Start right here and just do what you were doing. Very light. Do that windshield washer thing you were talking. Always start from the outside in. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. So I'm going to do that again. Beautiful, beautiful. The other side. Okay, now, if you take your, if you go too far away, you don't want to go all the way over, yeah. just you want to go to, to the middle. three quarter, okay. middle to three quarter, usually to the middle and just bleed it over. But you want, and then you can still take your brush, go back, just like with the clean blush, up the line. just clean up there. You want it to be more towards the outside. Okay. The whole idea with the eyes, you want to pull it up. You don't want to bring it down. Okay. So now, do I That's take important. this color, the mid brown, and do the you same? You can. Uh, you can if you want. You can do just a little bit, a uh, same kind of idea. Or you can just leave that if you wanted to do the go into the darker brown. You don't even know to go. Okay, so yeah. so with the darker yeah, brown because that that lighter taupe, it's a step you don't really need to take. Okay, so not that brush. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so this so, is what I need to know. What yes. brush shape do Here's I need to find for this dark brown? Out of me situation. Oh wow, teeny. Okay. Yep. Wow. This is the type Here. of brush that I would find in like a brush set and be like, I'll never use that. No, <laughs> these are golden, these babies. Start with a little bit and build it. So, ready at the I'm end scared. of your lash. No, no. Okay, so you wanted to do a quarter correctional, right? Outer what I call a quarter correctional. Outer V is Outer what I hear v. people on YouTube yeah. call it. Okay, okay, I'm getting, oh baby. Okay, so with this, if you, here, I'll just, I'll show you with this side yeah. and then you do it. That's easier for me. Okay, so you go, there's the end of your thing. Mm -hmm. You just do that. And you don't want to go above your bone. Okay. Okay. 
and then just like literally see what's good about this is it gets in the crease that's what you want to do you don't want to be up here because then it's like oh my gosh you know and blending is so important so you can even do circle but just 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 ever so slightly this is why i've been wanting to learn this mom yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so if you go too far with any of your shadow over here it totally brings your eye down so the rule of thumb you can take anything after you can even do it with your when you do your concealer if you, that happens but at the end just take it right to here the corner of your eye to the corner of your brow mm. and bring it up you don't want anything on this side you want that crisp line and always up never down never out up right what do you think mom that looks great yeah, okay it really does. And now i need to try for myself here give me go. that brush you i'm terrified oh my god thank god you're here in case i mess no, up no no hey listen that's how you learn <sighs> okay. right you're gonna make mistakes that's totally okay so right there yep no no okay i already made okay. a mistake no you didn't make a mistake you did not make a mistake so you just want to go kind of straight think of a hockey stick up and then over just always remember last one i'll see so it's gone down a little bit okay okay so that's when you want to be oh, we'll, no. we'll clean that up that's no big deal makes all the difference you don't want anything down here so let's see where's your you can take this so if you get a little under that no big whoop don't if you add wet to dry you try to get it off with a q-tip or something wet it's gonna make a mess because it's so just Sometimes you make a mistake and it's not such a bad thing mm -hmm. like that because you just go, oh, hey, I kind of like how that gets a little shadow or a little something in there. So, you know, let's see. But We're going to be going back to back to years ago. For years, my mom's really only had to fix if I get fallout or mascara blobs. But mom, we're going back in time. You're gonna have to be blending more for me and fixing. Oh. I'm gonna be trying all my new Mo techniques. Okay. <laughs> a lot of times I don't wear a liner at all. Okay. But if I do, I'll take like one of these liners and I'll just like line right along my lashes. And then because I'm well aware that I can't do a straight line, I take a, the sponge on the other end and I blend it all. Yeah, that works totally fine. Just always start from the outside in. Really? Never the inside out. That is always the outside in. That's where you want your strength is on the outside. Okay. Because what happens then, you've got your strength here. And it, so it's now going to bring your eyes in. Always start outside in, and you don't need to go all the way. Uh, that's far enough. You could even go three quarters because then when you blend it, it's just, you don't want a heavy. And if you use any other kind, always make sure it's sharp, like it's pointed. So you go right, like almost press up against your lash line. Okay. Soften. Now it looks good, but it, you've got a now, so that's giving you a wonky line, which is you want to always like do it like this versus like that. Okay. Like do it kind of like holding it on the oh. side. Uh, Molly, I know you can't see, but just for your viewers, close your eyes. See how it it it's not a nice clean line there. So Mal, what you could do with that, okay. but it's that thin straight line. Yeah. So. Don't put anything on the brush. Again, pull your lid up. Come like this in the bottom. Don't come straight on. It's always easier. And come in, come out from the middle. There, there. You bleed in a little bit. You just take it like this, bleed it in, blend, blend, blend. See? And yeah. it didn't grab anything. Yeah. Because we didn't put concealer on. Good, good. We didn't put highlighter. If you had highlighter, we put on your highlighter. Right. Right? Yeah. So you don't give it anything. Yeah, that's a But problem. before we do that, Okay, now, it's again a preferential thing as far as wearing uh, under eye. I have a very, I don't have a lot of rolls. In fact, I think rolls are made to be broken. But one of the things I see is that literally, in my mind, is cringeworthy is when I see somebody that wants to put a liquid eyeliner under their eye. I just like my eyes to look awake and light. Okay. I don't often do under. So here's what you can do under. You just take a, a nice angle brush. You could even do a small angle. I've got a small angle brush here, Mom. I'm gonna show. See how little yep, that tiny, is? Yep. Okay. You could do your your middle taupe even. Yeah. It doesn't have to be dark at all. You want it to register. You want light. You don't want to go heavy dark unless you're going for a heavy glam. But again, right at the edge. 
ever so subtle, okay? Literally just went into a quarter. So it's not there, but it's there. Yeah, S super subtle. You see how, how soft that is? Yeah. So pointed side, other side out, the other. The, the, there way. you go, yep, yep. Okay, not too far. Okay, now, and just like, don't, don't do, just do one fail swoop in. Yeah, like that. Okay. Do that, okay. That's not too hard. That's not hard. No. Nope. You showed me something before we started the video. Oh, yes. Okay, so. And you, we had two very different reactions. So Mac recently sent me a PR package, which is probably one of the most exciting PR packages I've ever received in my life. And one of the products I was like, oh, but I'll never use this. It's just not a shade that's gonna work for me. And it is this blush called Raisin, which I know is a very famous blush, but I'm a very fair skinned girl. That does not, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. But Mo was very excited for me. Ever since, it was one of the first MAC shades I ever got. I, I, this used to be my signature. I had a trick with Raisin. So I, oh, to this day, I have Raisin in my kit. It is a staple. It is the littlest trick. That little angle brush. Oh, I put it over here. Okay. So then you take it just right against. I know it's going to be easier said than done for you, but only I, I know. This will be a new work thing. So very lightly, just a little, just on the top. Again, press in, and I just took a little more of the brown. You want it to sit kind of on top of your. Right. It just softens it. It does. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it just gives another little hit and it yeah. pulls the colors out of your eyes. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Look at that. Oh, yeah. What right? a difference that makes. Right? It's huge. Isn't that a great little trick? Yeah. Make a full of tricks. That's what you're, you're going to be watching. I'm going to be making you watch this video yeah, back on to learn how to do this to me every day. Hey, listen. Or do I do it to myself? I'm always happy to answer any questions. But that, so please do not get rid of this is <laughs> I will keep raising. Yeah. Concealer time? Yep. Okay, yep. finally we're on to concealer. Something I would have done as my literal second step is one of the last. Yep. So I would usually like wipe off the doe foot applicator so I don't have too much product. Yep. And then usually what I would do is like swipe under my eye. Okay. So show me what you do and then I'll, I'll we'll go from there. Actually, no, you know what? Do work with your eye first because you gotta work with this stuff fast. The shape tape, it's great, but you have to work, really work with it and work quickly because it really does set. It's a fabulous product for sure. Nice. Okay, again, with that, make sure you, with your brush, you don't want that line. So that's why I usually put my blush, I do my blush after I do my eyes at the end so that there's no but just make sure that, yeah, so you don't have a line here, right? right? When you well, because usually I do it second. It is done before my blush and my bronzer and, you know. Yes. You don't have to do the whole swipe. Do, and almost into a V, right up into here. This just is like dotting area. it on. Don't have to go all over here, you know, outside in. Okay. Again, don't swipe because it just gets streaky. Kind of dot it. Dot it. It's called stippling, but that's it. It's just, I'm working it. And I'm almost pressing it a bit, you know? Into the skin. But this spot in here, I may have put a bit too much. But... And then just the same around the nose area that you did it, just kind yep. of dot it in? Yep, just press her in. Because again, that's another area that goes, sorry, I guess stand up here. It, it's dark, right? So you want to kind of highlight that. It gives you a, a, the natural highlighter you almost need, right? So then, can I just take the same powder yep. and just kind of set yep. that? Everything's everywhere now. I can't know. see things or find things or feel things. Okay. I mean, we all know I can't so. see things, but I can't feel them. That's my highlight brush. Is it? Because that, that's a good one for under your eyes, to be honest with you. Because you don't want this to This is big. what I do under my all eyes. Right. Okay. okay, so then highlight. This is the brush that I use. And then I have my highlight. I kind of just like dot it in yeah. and then I kind of go yes I knew you were gonna say I, was doing <laughs> this wrong. I knew this one was wrong okay end of your the end of your mm -hmm. eyebrow here again it's your top of your brow bone here right here okay top of your cheekbone I should say that's your brow bone your cheekbone 
That's where you want to highlight. You don't, again, you don't need it all up in here. If you do anything in here, that's where it's fine to do a little bit of your uh, bronzer, you know, that okay, kind of thing. Okay, so I just want to go like here. Gentle. You don't need to go all the way up. You just want to get it right here, basically. That's it, because that's all you really want to see. Okay. Okay, so now. I'm just gonna do my mascara and my lips off camera because there's nothing very interesting and then you will see the completed look. Okay, I set my face with Fix Plus. I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, a combo of lip, and this is the finished look. Now we did a couple of different techniques. So both of the eyes look a little bit different and Mo's gonna help me fix it before uh, I leave the house at all today, <laughs> but that's that's that. I am definitely gonna be experimenting and trying some of these techniques. You definitely taught me a lot about where to put my face products, which is very helpful, and some of these outer V tricks that I definitely wanna experiment with and play with. So Mama B is going to be helping fix some disasters over the next few weeks, I'm sure. But thank you, Mo, for doing this with me, and I hope you guys learned something too. Okay, until next time, you can click up here to see the I've Changed video, or over here, to see the video of me going to a designer outlet mall. And until next time, have a great day.